Have you ever wondered how the massive dinosaur kill zone in the middle of America happened? We're talking about three countries, 14 states, and a stretch over 1,800 miles long and 1,000 miles wide. Over a million square miles are filled with the remnants of most known dinosaur species, and they're all mixed with other land animals, fish, birds, and all sorts of sea life. The leading theory asserted by evolutionists is that an asteroid hitting the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, over 1,000 miles away from the heart of this disaster zone, is why millions of dinosaurs are buried in mud and ash. But that doesn't make sense, because the billions of fossils in this area were buried in multiple mud and ash layers from successive watery events. Over the last few decades, scientists have been discovering soft tissues in dinosaur bones. We're talking about over 50 peer-reviewed secular science journals that have now reported 14 bioorganic materials found in dinosaur bones. They're finding blood cells, blood vessels, connective tissue, and even collagen, which has a maximum shelf life of just tens of thousands of years, with some stretching it out to a maximum of 900,000 years. Either way, with a maximum shelf life of less than 1 million years, what's collagen doing in dinosaur bones that are supposedly 65 million years old? Just look at this soft, pliable dinosaur tissue. This type of bioorganic material has been found in the bones of several different dinosaur species. It sure doesn't look like a 65 million year old rock, does it? Doesn't it look like the catastrophic worldwide flood described in the Bible that happened just thousands of years ago make better sense of this evidence? Looking for answers about what the Bible teaches about creation, the fossil record, dinosaurs? Download the Genesis Apologetics app from the iTunes or Google Play stores for answers to these questions and more.